afternoon. Welcome to the four. I'm Heather Myers and I'm Jesse Pagan. Carlo has the day off. Yesterday we told you about a Carlsbad man with a thousand dollar SCG and E bill, the highest residential bill we have seen so far. As a result of that story, SCG and E sent technicians to his home for an audit today, and we now know the results. CBSA Shannon Handy joins us live from outside SDGD's Energy Innovation Center in Claremont with the details on this. And Shannon, what did the homeowner learn? Well, Heather and Jesse, it looks like we have this issue resolved, but before we get to that, I want to bring you back to how this all started in the first place. The brother of the owner, they live together, contacted CBS 8 about their last bill, saying it just didn't make sense. They live in a two-bedroom, two-bathroom condo that was purchased back in August in Carlsbad, and the owner says since moving in, his stg &E bill has risen dramatically. Sorry about maybe 300 bucks and now we last one was about a thousand dollars in four to five months period so it was a lot and has anything changed between august and now nothing maybe the weather that's the only thing that was owner Sina Shiesta. He and his brother both work from home, but say they don't feel like they use enough gas or energy to justify such a high bill. Now, he called sdg &E and insisted they send someone out, which they did, but a technician found nothing wrong with his meter. That's when CBSA got involved. We reached out to the company, and they admitted a bill that high is rare, and for that reason, they called for a whole house audit. That took place this morning. CBSA was there. Technicians went through the entire home and turned off high-usage appliances. They then shut off the gas and electricity and ran various tests to see if there's a problem, for example, a leak or energy surge coming from someplace else. It took about an hour and a half, at which point it was determined there was nothing wrong on stg &E's end, but that the owner's thermostat was miswired. According to an stg &E spokesperson, that was causing the heater and the air conditioner to run for hours at the same time. Mostly heaters or air conditioners cycle on and cycle off. This just stayed on uh, because one device was attempting to heat the home and the other device was attempting to, uh, of course, cool the home. We're grateful uh, that Mr. Shiesta brought this to our attention so that we could help him fix the problem. We're grateful that we can definitively tell Mr. Shiesta that his thermostat was miswired and this should provide uh, extraordinary relief. And those technicians did wind up rewiring the thermostat. Now the owner says he will update us next month to see if his bill does in fact go down. Unfortunately though, because this is not an sdg &E issue, it's unlikely he'll get a refund for those high bills he's already paid. Oh boy, so that's a little tough to hear that uh, unfortunately he's still stuck with the thousand dollar bill there. Shannon, do want to ask you though, for anybody else who's receiving an extraordinarily high bill and they may be wondering if wiring is potentially their issue, what is SDG&E advising? Well, for one, in this case, which is pretty rare, if your air conditioner or your heater is running for hours at a time without turning off and on, that is a sign there's something wrong. But in general, if you think that there's something wrong with your bill unrelated to the thermostat issue, stg &E suggests that you go online to your account and check your usage, check the hours of your usage. Maybe there's high usage when you're not home or you're out of town. Uh, that could really be a signal that there may be a bigger problem, in which case you need to reach out to sdg &E. But again, you need to be persistent. sdg &E has been inundated with calls from customers. So just like he persisted and we persisted, they came out and fixed the problem. And one more thing, that owner, by the way, has a Tesla, and he was not aware that there's a program for people with electric vehicles that sdg and &E offers which does lower your bill because EV owners do use more electricity. So that's something he also plans to sign up for, and that will hopefully drop his bill even more. All right, Shannon Handy continuing our amped up coverage and getting some more information, some more answers for you all from SDG&E. Shannon, thank you.